Hello and welcome to Music Technology at Norton Natural School. We're going to discuss a little bit about the A-level course, where you can go from it and what it involves. So first off, what the course structure actually involves. 40% of the complete qualification is assessed during doing coursework. There's two components of coursework, were equally weighted. Component one is a recording of a live ensemble which would be gathered either from friends or from in school and that will be organised in a joint effort by the class and all the other musicians. And component number two is a an electronic composition from a set brief given by the board in the September of year 13. The examine part of the qualification are components three and four. Component three is a listening paper, an appraising paper, which allows you to demonstrate your knowledge of the history of music technology, of how music technology has been used in modern music, in older music developments in, modern, in music technology, effects, the technical um, operations of music tech, and how it affects what we hear today. The fourth component is a production and appraising component whereby you are given source materials by the board in an exam setting and you are asked to perform certain tasks of production using the equipment available, so adjusting EQ, balance, panning, effects, tracks, things like this to produce the effects that the board has requested. On top of all that, we have a lively music department in school. We do a lot of extracurricular activity, um, including ensembles within the school. We have bands, we have an award-winning guitar quintet, we have um, string groups, and we have collaborations with the Royal Shakespeare Company where musicians from the department get to compose music and perform music with performances by their staff. We have connections with British Army Music and their outreach service. And through the staff here, we have connections with the Royal Academy of Music and also through their Open Academy system. We're members of Orchestras for All and we have close ties with Kent Music, which we're increasing our development of this year. Now, where can music tech take you? Obviously, you love music, you want to do more with music, or maybe it's just a really, really interesting hobby that you're passionate about and it's something that you love to do. If you do want to take it further, then there are many courses around, so ranging from music industry practice to sound and event production at South Wales, audio design, audio engineering at places like Chester, involving more computer work at Plymouth and digital music technology or digital sound arts, various offerings across the country. In terms of apprenticeships, there are quite a few providers of those. There is a government website which details how to apply for them. But among other offerings, Universal Music take apprentices, so do Dominum Records, Hype Studios, over in Tunbridge and many, many other record companies, including the big ones like Sony, also offer apprenticeships. So what do we ask from you? We ask that you get a GCSE in music at a grade five or a grade six. There are no auditions. We do not audition, but we will ask you about your playing experience and what level you think you're at. What do you play? Where do you play? Who do you play with? What pieces? What sort of genre? There is no requirement to study or take grade exams through ABRSM or Trinity, but you have to be able to play an instrument or sing at about a grade five level to make this course viable. Thank you for your time. If you've got any other questions regarding music A level or music technology or anything else sixth form related, please contact the website, the email address that's on the screen, sixthformrecruitment at nks.kent.sch.uk.